It was it went great. Um, so I, everybody was competing against one another. You know, the team lost. It was like coaching one another. It was, it was, it was a split again. So that's the most. That's the main thing. Have fun, compete. All of us. All of us on out there were good players. So just the competing part that made it fun. Patrick, did I? I read somewhere that you asked to come to this workout. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, my last workout was in New Orleans on um, on Friday, and I had a you know, the, the couple of days to, to have a break. Um, I was meant to go to, to Cleveland on Wednesday, and I had that you know that gap, so I wanted to make sure you know I try to get in as many workouts as I can. And you know, lucky enough, this was a, a great workout for me anyway, just to you know see where I am compared to compared to everyone else. But um, yeah, that you know, unfortunately enough, that let me come into this workout, and it was great. How many have you had so far? How many workouts? That was my that was my ninth one. Today was your ninth. Yeah. This Cleveland, your last. Cleveland was my last on Wednesday. Yeah. Was it the level of competition? I mean, did you know the other guys that were coming here? Is that why you wanted to come? Yeah, definitely. I knew who was going to be here, and I saw it was a great opportunity. You know, um, if I had that opportunity, make make the most of it and try and you know put myself in the best possible position. So um, you know, like I said it was great to come out here today and really compete. Can you critique, critique yourself how you did? I mean, you think it went all right? Yeah, I think you know I, I went pretty good. Um, obviously, there's a, a lot of things I need to work on to get to the next level. But like I said here today, and, and the type of caliber guys that, that were competing here today, um, along with Tony, you know, it, it was great. And I think that the level of, of competitiveness and, and toughness is is you know, a level that that I'm up there as well. With. So, um, like I said, this this workout was great for me, and, and one that I think you know I'm in the in the mix. Anyone in particular impress you? Um, that was the first time I worked out with Tariq Evans. I think he had a great workout. Um, really made the most of his opportunity. Um, took advantage of his, his size against our smaller guys and you know, <laughs> managed to push us push us around a bit. But, um, yeah, he's definitely a, a, a great player and uh, has great toughness. Can you both touch on what you would bring to an NBA team? Sorry, what was that? What would you bring to an NBA team? Um, I think for me, being a, being a point guard, um, you know, leadership skills, uh, first and foremost, I think um, being able to run a team um, in the, in the full court and both in the half court, um, specifically my, my quickness, I think, is my strength. Um, being able to to get up and down the floor, um, that transition game. Um, but I think, yeah, first and foremost, could be the leadership. Um, I feel like I could bring a lot to the team. Uh, I feel like on guard, I could play one or two. Um, my strengths is on the defense end. Um, I love guarding the best players on the floor, one and two. And most of all, um, I'm having that scoring the ball. And at the same time, I feel like I can run a team. So I feel like being versatile is, is real deadly for just having to play in one position. A lot of, a lot of um, players in the NBA are versatile, either ones, twos, two, three, three, four, stuff like that that you see. And um, that's how the NBA is coming today. And I feel like me being a guard, being a playmaker, and you know, making plays is the best opportunity for me for whatever team I go to. Do you feel yeah. like defense is going to be that one thing that will get you to differentiate you from other guards your size too? Oh, most definitely. Um, I feel like um, I'm in a u unique position because a lot of guys out here in college can score the ball, but not a lot of guys could take more pride in their defense more than their offense. And I feel like that's why I separate myself from. Patrick, the teams obviously knew about you a year ago at this time, but how much do you think what you did in the lead up to the Olympics and then in the Olympics? did to improve your stock and really sort of put you in a unique situation? Yeah, it did. Obviously, I think that, uh, that um, you know, put me on the map um, more than anything. Um, it was a great opportunity for me to, to play at that level um, in the Summer Olympics. And like I said, that again, that was an opportunity that, that I could see if I made the most of it, you know, um, put myself in the mix somewhere um, come, come sometime this year. And, and that's what I've done. So that, that definitely helped me a lot. Um, and then again in the last season of St. Mary's. When you're playing the United States in those two games, is it, was it in your mindset of this will impact my draft stock? Um, no, not really. I think that um, that, that wasn't really a focus at all. Um, you know, when, when you get that opportunity to represent your country, uh, represent your family, you know, that, that comes first and then foremost, I think. Um, worrying about, you know, personal accolade and personal achievements down down the road, I think it um, was down the bottom of the list. So um, you know, I've done everything I can to, to help the country, 
up the team the first. Um, and it was, I guess it's just, you know, the, the ball started rolling and, and at the end of the campaign, that's when you know, I sat down and reflected and said, oh, you know, that might help me a little bit down the, down the road. How much did you hear it afterwards about how you played in those games, you know, helped raise your profile? Um, that's yeah, what you heard much. Yeah, to, to be honest, that that really that that campaign really um, set myself up for, to, to where I am now, and, and obviously talking a lot more to, to coaches um, and, to, and to scouts after that that particular campaign. But um, yeah, like I said, that that's definitely the, the one experience that um, has helped me get to get this far. Yeah. Yeah, the hands completely healthy. Um, we just got a, a little ugly scar on there, but other than that, it's all 100 percent healed. Yeah. With, with nine workouts, have you been given some indication by any of those teams where you think you'll go? Do you have some idea where you might fall? Um, well, from, from what we've heard, and I'm sure you know everyone can say the same thing, we just have absolutely no idea <laughs> where anyone's going to go. Um, for me personally, you know, I've been told late first or the early second around that, around that stage somewhere. But, um, like I said, you know, I, this workout and I really wanted to come to to try and put myself in the best possible position. So, you know, we have nine workouts, you know, it's all up in there. Um, this is my tenth one. <laughs> my tenth workout. How <laughs> uh, many left? Uh, I think I have one more. One more left. Uh, I found out in a couple more hours. Got about enough? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's part of the process, you know. Um, Putting yourself in, a, in the best position you, you able, that you can do. It's going to be kind of stressful. I mean, knowing every time you step up, there, you got to have your best game. Huh? Yeah, you know that's 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 part of lifestyle that you know you want to be an NBA player. That you have to really um, deal with because it's the same thing every other day. You're on the road. You're really not stable, so you got to bring it every day, and it comes along with being, keeping your body healthy, eating right, and stuff like that. <clears throat> work that's if you had a team made you run lines, a coach that's made you run lines if you lost three and three. Ah. Uh, Couple, 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 couple teams. What is it? That I feel like that that's the competitive about. You know, make me want to win. And being a player anyway, you should never want um, lose. You always should have a winning attitude. You said your hand is healed, but you, you spent a lot of last season with, with the injured and you couldn't play. Did you feel that might affect where you might go as far as not being able to showcase yourself at St. Mary's? Yeah, I was off last season. I've been the season for maybe four weeks, uh, missed nine games, and yeah, definitely that affected. You know where I am in, in, in the draft, I think. Um, but look, that, that's something that I can't control. I, I can control how I do in these workouts, and that's that's about it. Um, so you know, take it how it comes, but make sure when you get the chance to go out on the floor, you you, you know give it all you got. Any discomfort in the hand at all? Is that for really you? No, none, none whatsoever. It's all 110 percent. How long did it take to reach that point? Is it is it very recent that you got to the point where you really feel comfortable with it? Or Pretty much by the end of the season. Um, well, the first game I came back was the first game of our conference tournament, um, and I was barely reaching eighty percent there. Um, it was about the start of our NIT tournament, where it was it was pretty much good to go. Um, clench my fist, have all movement, range of movement, so yeah, it was all good by then. Can you just talk, can you just talk about how you fit in with the Kings? Um, yeah, like I, I think this is a, a great you know, fit, fit for me the way I the way I like to play. You know, um, someone who I like to um, you know see my, my game like is Tony Parker. What he's doing with the San Antonio Spurs. So that's some, something that I can really do here. You know, push the ball up and down the floor, have that add that transition game. Uh, most of all, um, you know, energy off the bench. I, I believe, and it's kind of a, a similar situation that that I had with the with the Olympic team. You know. Um, being a backup point guard, coming off, bring bring a lot of energy, um, and just yeah, basically you know bring a lot of energy off the bench and, and trying to um, up tempo the the, the, the game um, and really have control of it. What about you, Tony? <coughs> um, yeah, I feel like we bring a lot to the Kings. Um, me being versatile, playing both positions, um, guarding the ball, playing defense, going up and down the court. On offense and defense end of the floor. And most of all, I feel like I can bring toughness because you um, can't coach toughness. That's one thing that um, I've, been, I've been stuck with me throughout my whole life. And once I step on the floor, you know, nobody, I feel like nobody's going to out tough me. And that's one thing I can't control.